Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Straight. So last time, oh lord, I don't even have my notepad, but last time we, um, we went to the coffee shop with the get with the boys, that's what we will refer to them hitherto, um, they're the boys. And we learned about Max and his brother, and he's actually a really good guy. Where the hell is my pencil? He's actually a really good guy, and he takes care of his autistic brother, or maybe it was... I think it was autism. It was some kind of mental... Um... I don't know, condition. And now we're in the sauna, because they wanted to get naked. I, I don't... I don't know. They wanted to relax, I guess? I don't really like saunas, they're just really hot and sweaty and kind of nasty, but I need my notepad so I can take note of all the crazy stuff that happens in this game, so it's easier during editing to edit them out. <laughs> okay. Max, Max is sprawled across the top landing of the sauna, completely naked, his D lazily draped over his leg. Max, you're killing me! Can't you just throw the towel over your junk rather than laying it out? I don't know why... Why, um... Why Mikhail has to act like he hasn't... He hasn't seen all of that. Like, he hasn't, you know, put all of that in his own body too at one point, you know? I... Why is he acting so disgusted? Oh, a close-up, okay. Mikhail, saunas are disgusting. I don't know people on the wrestling team, how gross they are and what they do in here. What? So I don't- I don't understand why you can't wear the towel, though? Like, wear it around your waist like them. And then, if you sit down on the towel, you're not actually sitting down on the... On the sauna wood? Like, I don't get it. Well, regardless of your intention, you don't look sanitary. You look like a virgin on a sacrificial altar laying like that. Oh lord. F off. Are you guys seriously wearing towels the whole time? Because that's lame. I know, it's... It, we're in the sauna for a reason. We're in the sauna, so it's very difficult for me to edit. That's... That's why we're here. Oh god, I hate the face Mikhail is making! No! Why is he making that face? Do you see that? He looks like he's dying! He looks like he's on his deathbed. Mikhail! I mean, he has a point. Oh, you just want to see Brayden naked. You know damn well you're going to make Brayden uncomfortable as hell if you're naked in here! I know, right? It's like, Mikhail cares more about, um, pleasing Brayden than Zack does. He's more invested in their relationship than Zack is. And even Brayden is, kind of. Don't pretend like you know everything, Mikhail, just because you're gonna be a doctor. I bet Brayden is a closet freak. God, he is really just shifting it around. Kinda like Preacher's Daughters. Mikhail, you ever been with a Preacher's Daughter? Those girls are crazy. What, has Max been with one? Apparently. Mikhail sighs in expiration and smiles at me before rolling his eyes. Well, I'm naked enough already. Y'all can do what you want. I'd be lying in that moment if I didn't admit that I almost dropped that towel into the humidity-soaked floor of the wrestling team's sauna. Part of me wonders why, but after everything that's happened in the past few days, I feel a conflicting sense of loss and invigoration. Like something else in a long progressive sequence clicked inside of me. My head so wait, clicked inside my head somewhere. I just don't know where or what it was. But Mikhail is right. I know Brayden better than anyone here, and he's on edge enough right now. Even if he's trying his best not to show it. Yeah, you're probably right. Last thing I want is for him to come in here and feel all weird. I love how we all have to discuss Brayden <laughs> and how he is going to feel based upon all of their actions and we have to modify what we're going to do to him. Whatever. Well, I'm comfortable. Go put a coat on. I don't care what you guys do. 
I rake my forearm across my brow, surprised at how much I'm already sweating in here before sliding down into the corner with a relaxing exhale. The door opens cautiously as Brayden steps in, steam dramatically swirling around him. Really? Dramatically swirling around him? Okay. And why does... Um... Goodness, look at them all. Why does Brayden here look like... Well, I'll wait until it shows his front again, before I say that. His eyes... His eyes brush slowly across the room in a thoughtful consideration. Ugh. Oh, no. This is gonna be so annoying to edit. Lord help me. Ugh. Yo, B. Maybe I won't edit. Maybe I'll actually just save myself the trouble and put this on the usual platform. And maybe you're already watching it there, and I won't even censor it so you guys can see. Uh, but then, like, what if the YouTube video is only, like, two minutes? Ugh. Hey! Why does he look surprised? Max looks surprised, I don't know. About time, what took you so long? Just taking a leak and getting the butterflies out. What? Butterflies? I already saw your D this morning. Max? What? I did see it. Stop pressuring everybody. If you want to get naked, that's fine. He can wrap himself like a damn muppy in that towel if he wants to. Maybe he has the hots for Brayden. What do you guys think? Let the man chill. Come on in, B. There's room wherever. Just ignore Max's dumb ass and the fact that he refuses to put his D away. Nah, I'm actually more comfortable than I usually am. I like you guys, and after everything that's happened in the last few days, I feel like I need to chill the F out today. Brayden casually drops his towel a bit and shakes it out in front of him. Oh dear. Is that gonna pop a woody? I look out and get a peek from the side that I'm not sure was purposeful or not. What, you think he's intentionally flashing you and specifically just you right now? Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. I don't know how long the video on YouTube is gonna be, like 30 seconds? Bet. Um... <laughs> so... I. I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. Next time we'll come back with Max's story. I actually scrolled back a little bit because I was actually reading his story a little bit, like a minute of his story, but then I realized it's going to be a long story. I don't know how much longer we're going to be in here. I've been recording for a long time, so I decided just to end the video, scroll back a bit, end the video. So we're ending it. Bye, guys. Bye.